You started your career playing at after parties for uh, like fashion events. How do you think it compares to like the club scene? It's kind of more of a chilled out, funky kind of vibe, whereas club is a bit more full on. They're both really good, but um, you know, it's a different vibe. Do you have a preference between the two? No, I love both. Both good. Do you, do you still gig at places like that? I do actually, yeah. yeah I'm doing the new Skunk and Nancy uh, album launch party, that should be a laugh. Because you're actually working on uh, the remix of that at the moment, aren't you, in your studio? Yeah, that's right, I'm sort of beavering away, you know. <laughs> When's that going to be coming out? I shouldn't think it'd be for a while yet. So you're keeping that under wraps at the moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you played here before? Oh yeah, I've played at Progress quite a few times. I love it. It's great. And how do you think this compares to other clubs? I would say this is like one of my top three clubs. It's, it's, it's better than most places just because the people and the atmosphere and the, 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 the vibe that promoters create is just excellent. It's just one of the best nights out, I should think, yeah. How did you get started into DJing? Um, I started just because I knew a lot of people. I bought some decks. I used to make tapes and I used to play them in a shop I used to work in and people used to, started to buy them. And um, I just got a residency at trade from that, really. You play at glamorous events like Pushka. Do you prefer to play at places like that or somewhere where they're not really bothered about what they're wearing, more about just enjoying themselves? Yeah, I think, I mean, I haven't played Pushka for quite a while. And in the day that it started, it was good. But now I think it's more about having fun and just relaxing and, you know, enjoying yourself. How did you get involved in the ad campaign for Mortal Kombat? Um, they just phoned me up. I think I was a bit kind of aggressive then. They wanted somebody who looked really hard and really kind of like, you know, I don't know, a bit weird. You think so. you, are you quite an aggressive person? Then? No, I'm not at all. <laughs> but I think then I looked aggressive. I had a skinhead and I used to walk around with a frown and a sunglasses. So I think that's what they were looking for. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of your work's been within the gay scene at places like Trade and Gay Pride. Do you think that gay people actually party harder? Definitely. I don't know what it is, but they just like to dance a lot more. They like to scream and shout and just go out every single night of the week. And guaranteed every night is good. They're not as reserved. They just like to go for it. They don't really care. Yeah, and, the, and the, you know, the, the vibe's different because you've got loads of straight girls in there as well and they can release themselves because they're not, you know, having got loads of like men staring at them as well. What have you got planned for this year? Are you going abroad this year? Well, because I've got my studio, I don't really want to travel too much, but I have got plans, obviously, to go to Ibiza and I'm going to uh, Australia and South Africa and places like that.